New chapter. That means new killer, new survivor, but not a new map. But we got updated graphics. So we're gonna do the Adept Blight, also known as Pinball Man. And we also got our um, new uh, cosmetic. But like I said, we're doing Adept Blight. So that means we're using his three uh, base perks, his three perks that he comes with. So we got Hex Undying. So while Undying is active, survivors within two meters of any totem have their auras revealed for five seconds. When another Hex totem is cleansed, that Hex transfers to an available dull totem, losing any tokens in the process. So any token ones kind of aren't the best, but it can still work. Then we got Dragon's Grip after kicking a generator for the next 30 seconds. The first survivor that interacts with it will scream, revealing their location for four seconds and becoming afflicted with the exposed status effect for 60 seconds. Dragon's Grip has 120 second cooldown. It's only level one. I don't know the other levels. I haven't seen them yet. And then we got Hex Blood Favor. So when you hit a survivor, pallets within 16 meters of your location are held in place by the entity for 15 seconds. These pallets cannot be pulled down. Hex Blood Favor has a cooldown of 40 seconds. So it works. It doesn't have to be a basic attack. This is what we're using. We're going in. Intro took too fucking long, but who cares? I'm giving you guys your video before we do our stream. So I took off the add-ons. That, that, add, that brown add-on is completely it's useless. You're sitting there trying to follow them with your mouse anyway. So it literally locks on for a sec, like not even a second. It's like, it's like a millisecond. It's like boom, boom. And then it lets you control the camera again. So you don't even notice that like your brain doesn't notice when you're moving your mouse that it locked on to the person already. So we use two different add-ons. One that, that helps my turning. And then the other one that shows auras when I smack into something. Just to, you know, help myself out a little bit. Cause it's a little hectic. This man runs like he's on ice skates. I don't get it. Ugh. He runs like he's on ice skates. Like he runs sideways. I don't even understand. What's the point of the sideways movement? What the point? Bro, what's the point of the sideways movement? Well, at least there's two pallets gone. So many people around. I knew there was two people here. I just didn't know where they were. They were both sitting in the fucking bush. Wow, he got him up fast. Wow. He fucking got him up fast. You're gonna end up- What the fuck am I stuck on? This add on so much better than this add on so much better than the other add on. I thought it was, the brown add on was gonna be like, oh yeah, it's nice. It, it shows you where they are and it like locks your camera onto them. It fucking doesn't. It doesn't at all. Oh hi. You thought I was coming. You we're a little late. Bro, this man's so short. Why does he slide like he has ice skates on? Man's running on fucking ice. 
I'm so damn short. I can't see over anything. Ah. Woo. So basically to counter them, you just have to sit around shit. Because you can't turn that good. Unless you have like double turning add-ons, but at the same time, I don't even know if the like I have one turning add-on. I don't even know if double turning add-ons is gonna do much. But this aura add-on, I think. So far, if you have this aura add-on and the one where it instantly downs in Lethal Rush, it's game over. Like, bro, this aura add-on is disgusting. Just because you killed yourself, I better not have lost the chance to get it. I tried to smack into that, but he literally runs on glass. I heard you, you little shit. Stop killing yourselves! <laughs> Can I pick you up from here? Nope. Man, they're just killing themselves. I'm not even gonna get it because I think I need eight hooks. I've got two, two, one. You're gonna kill yourself, which is gonna fucking suck. I'm gonna see if I can find this guy with the aura. You're a piece of shit trying to kill yourself. I'm not even gonna get it because he's killing himself. It should count towards my hooks. If they're just gonna go and kill themselves. Like, bro. Bro! Bro! What the fuck? You guys got small peepees! The annotated blueprint spot it has tremendously increases the chance of spawning the hatch in the killer shack. So I will always be able to close it if it, there's a killer shack. And then I also put on Alchemist Ring with the compound 21. So it reveals auras within six meters of the collision location for six seconds. And also Alchemist Ring hitting a survivor with lethal rush will instantly recharge all rush tokens. So I can Boom! Rush again right after I hit the, the survivor. You need eight hook states in order to get the iridescent for the stupid thing. And also, when the last person gets hatched and I'm trying to get this achievement. Those are the two things I hate. Uh, why didn't... Wait, it revealed... Bro? Fuck this game.
All right, I like this this uh this purple add-on. I like it. I like it a lot. Just being able to rush straight away is just amazing. That was a waste of a pallet. Thank you very much. Wow, these guys throw down pallets pretty fast. I need to go back to the kill shack. Because they're going to get that gen. Dead hearted, so it's okay. And you're done fucked up because I have the, st <laughs> the, <ad> <laughs> the fucking perk. So you could even throw the pallet down anyway. You're done fucked up. I hear you. I fucking heard you. <clears throat> Man, Felix is loud. Goddamn. Oh, don't save him. Like, what What are you doing? Can you guys not do this? It would be much appreciated. Stop it! Like, I can't... I'm not supposed to be near the hook. I can't do anything if you guys are standing at the hooks. I'll just get rid of your decisive fuck it. I'm not dealing with it later on in the game. Not like I won't be able to fucking get you again anyway. Bro, this man's in the basement! What are you doing in the basement? What do you think you're doing? I'm actually decent with this killer. Like, I'll smack you. I have no problem doing that. I'm coming for that ass, by the way. Ice tried to smack into that, but just didn't want me to. Got to pay attention to see if... Yep, there you go. I fucking love this add-on so damn much. It's actually amazing. I love it. Hey, aren't you dead? Wait, no. Because you're decisive. was a bad idea. You're gonna throw that pallet down. Thanks. Man, you are not too smart. If they're healing, I can get back to them. Ah! Ah! Too many hits! Woo! 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 Goddamn. Why am I so good? 
Guess what you're doing? Dying. And then I can see their aura with the totems and spots. Oh my god. Like Jesus. So when I kill this last person, I have to rush to the killer shack. Literally just like go straight to the killer shack. That's what I'm doing. Whoever dies right now, I'm going to the killer shack right after. I'm just smacking in the shits to see if I can see them with my compound. Uh oh. She knows the killer or the patch is gonna spawn in the killer shack. I, I actually love this killer. I don't know why. I just do. He's he's decently good. He's he's really good. I'm not gonna lie. He's really good. They're both waiting for the hatch to spawn there. She's also trying to get flashlight saves, which isn't too smart if you're not good at them. She dead, by the way. I could go to the killer shack. Get hurt? <laughs> nope. I should get it this game. Literally. I should get it. If I don't get it, I'm going to be sad. Like, I'm going to cry. My hatch! No! Ah. I got it. I can't believe it. I got it against console players. I'm so happy. I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no thighs. Girl, you don't know about me. So get off my fucking D. Born and raised in the thigh. This is real as you gon' see. Girl, you don't know about me. So get off my fucking D.